Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelina. I'm going to be showing you um, a little bit of a video about my air fryer oven that I got for Christmas. I really didn't show it last time or well really at all because it's just me cooking in it. So I didn't really go over it too too much. But I figured today I can do that. So this is the 12, the 12 point four quart by uh, Best Choice Products. So I'm gonna show everything that came with it and I'm gonna show it to you. So it's already plugged in and there's room back here for ventilation. So you hit this button and you have your menu here and you have all your presets up to what you wanna do. And you have your preheat, basically, if you wanna preheat. And if you go back to here, there's like defrosting and there is, I forget one of these is to dehydrate and I'm thinking it's on the lowest setting. I'm not really sure. I haven't really played around with that too much. But if you go back out of that and if you just hit, sorry, let me go back. If you just go to the temperature, you go back and you go hit the temperature thing, it will, you could you know go down in temperature and then you hit the time and you could increase or decrease your time you know that's if you want to do that and inside you're not really going to be oh well, i guess you could see right now so there's a heating element uh down here and then there is one on top but I'll try to put you guys like that so you could see if you probably can't but yeah, and these are your racks. You, you can put your racks in here or whatever you want to, uh, like your tray, whatever um, do you decide to cook that day. And then you just close the door. And it will stop when, sorry, it's dirty. It will stop when you open it, so that's nice. And I figured I'd turn you guys around and show you the other stuff that it came with. So I'll show you everything. I'll open the book. So I could show you exactly that. So you got the instruction manual here. And it just tells you to wash. Uh, please excuse my table. This is an old table. I'm actually going to be getting rid of it soon. So that's why it's kind of it's kind of a little uh, old. So please excuse my table. table. Mm -hmm. So it just shows you all your instructions here. And how to go over everything. And this is what I wanted to show you. Um, so I could get everything right. So this is the 6.3 quarter pan, which is this. And I will take this off. This is just the stirring blade, if you want to have that. Got it off. There's that. I'll show you. So that is the 6.3 quart pan. So you could cook whatever you want in that. And then you have the rotating blade, which is this. And sorry for the noise. If you've seen in, um, I did a couple videos, uh, well I did two only so far, of my fries and of the chicken wings that I did use the rotating blade. And basically when you use it, you just hit this rotating thing and it'll start working. So that's how that works if you guys had this or did want to know. Okay. So back over here we have the chicken rack. Which is this. I haven't really, you know, used this too much yet. Then we have the pizza pan, which is also like a drip tray, which I use this quite a bit. So we have that. And then it came with an oven mitt. So we have a nice oven mitt here. I have a lot of mitts, but it's really nice. And then we have the three dehydration racks, which are right here. So there's one. two, and then three. The only um, problem I'm uh, noticing is when you are cooking, you do have to switch around like the racks or like don't have it too close to the top because the food on top will cook, cook faster than the ones on the bottom because, I mean, there is two heating elements, but it's so close on top that you really have to be careful that you don't really burn anything. Because that happened to me. I burned something a little bit, but that's okay. So it gives you like your control panel and all your presets here. And you know, more, you know, it just shows you more of the cooking and all that kind of stuff. 
and there are some of the recipes here and then I'll show you the other book as well and then this was the actual recipe book There is a recipe for a barbecue or dessert chicken. A rosemary rotisserie chicken. I don't know if you guys want me to go through this whole thing, but, you know, there's a lot of nice recipes in here. But maybe what you do want to see is this oven turned on. Um, I could probably just just show you what it sounds like, and but I do have another video of that, but I'll still turn it on for you guys. So... I'll just hit the, this is the, the pause and, the pause and go button. Sorry. I was going to say play, but to pause and to start, that sounds better. So that's what it looks like when it's starting to heat up. I just don't want to do it too, too long with no food in there. Uh, it didn't say anything in the direction, in the directions that you do need anything in there when it is heating up. So as far as that, I guess it's okay that you don't really need anything. It hasn't, like I said, hasn't. I haven't read anything where in the direction in the instructions it said anything like that. So I guess we're okay. The only thing is underneath you could see that it gets kind of the food gets stuck. So I have to eventually clean that out. And now you could hear it that it is kicking on. So like I said, it just looks like that. And yeah, there's a light. I really don't. It doesn't really show me. I'm not cooking anything, so you can't see much, but I will open the door, and when I do do this, you will hear that it will stop. So, that is a really nice feature as well. And then you just hit this, and it will go completely off, and then the light will blink until you actually unplug the whole air fryer, which is what I do when I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial of this air fryer. If you would like to see me use it more, Please let me know. I hope you guys like this. Thanks for watching.